<clears throat> okay, in the last video you guys just saw, you saw that I had the power supply and the ZK attached together like this. One of the comments I got was that the power supply was too close to the PWM. So I decided to put this to the test. I watched the video that he sent me to watch, and I'm very optimistic that this will not have any impact whatsoever on what we're doing. Um, the, the idea that the power supply would interfere with the ZK was, um, was a real concern to me, first of all. Um, I've never tested this on the, on the oscilloscope like that. The video, the reason why the viewer thought that uh, was well-founded, by the way, and it was real, you know, it was, it was real. Like, I had to check it out. I watched the video. And it's about um, sound equipment. So sound equipment, I can see how they would pick up the interference, right? Plus, they're using quite a bit more powerful power supply, and then you have amp that amplifies every little, tiny little noise that they have. If you watch all the videos, we're about a rapid rise in the square wave, which makes the slew rate of the magnetic field as fast as possible, right? So that's what we're about. As long as we've got a straight edge, strung straight up, um, after that, it doesn't affect us as much. But anyway, here I have the same part of supply as I got over there. I got a ZK right here. I'm going to turn this on. I will plug this thing in. Just like that. Okay, so right now, just so you guys know, I'm just trying to make the wire touch each other right now. Okay. All I got is ZK, power supply. I'm going to plug it in. We should see something appearing. Ha, there you go. Here's our square wave. I'm going to grab the camera, bring the camera closer. Okay. Okay, so I have the ZK 50% duty cycle and 10 hertz. We have 50% duty cycle. You can see this is on as much as it is off, right? And we have our rise right there. Let's zoom in a little more. There you go. Okay. I'm going to grab the power supply. Okay. And I'm doing this live right now. Like I have no idea what's going to happen. Here's the power supply. I put it right on top of the ZK. No change. Off, on, off, on, off. Quite far away, as far as the cord will allow me to go, and right back on top. Okay, let's zoom in a little more. Bring this down. Let's zoom in. Let's bring it up. Okay, we're, we're zoomed in quite a bit right now, okay? We should see, so this is our rise, like this is off, this is on, and you can see a little curve at the end because we're zoomed in so much. Remember guys, I was telling you, there's nothing instantaneous, right? So you can see the curve in that right now, right? Okay. I think I touched a wire here. Let's see. Yeah, I was touching the wires. Let's move it around. Had my blood going for a second. The footage there, and I noticed after we had a move that I spun, I think it was like this, and then I spun this around like that, right? So it made me think like, well, maybe this is the part that would affect it. So let's try that again, okay? Now, once again, I'm live. I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's cross our fingers, people. So this way, Nothing. This way, nothing. So I did touch the wire. That's what it was. Touch it. Had my blood going for a second. There you go. I'm trying not to touch the my probe here. Like I'm touching my my probes. <laughs> okay. So we are moving this around. Look at the curve. All right. So there it is. I want to thank that viewer for making me think hard outside the box. It's great. I love these things. 
and I just tested it, we're good to go. It does not affect us at all. The video you send me, very real. Those guys, it affects them big time because of different reason. For us, we're good to go. Thanks again. Really appreciate those comments.